What's up YouTube? I wanted to put together a quick video on cleaning the rust out of a gas tank. And you say, David, this gas tank appears to be brand new. Well, it is kind of. Uh, it appears to be a new old stock. I uh, purchased the thing uh, recently off of an online retailer, but the, um, the year model, I mean, it's for a 1993 Kawasaki Mule that I don't know that they made much past, um, you know, the year uh, 2000. So, you know, this thing could have been sitting somewhere for for 20 years, but um, I've got a, a, a cool little uh, contraption that I want to, to try out today. It's this little uh, Wi-Fi, uh, well, it's like a little, like a camera kind of thing here that you uh, connect it to your phone by Wi-Fi and I'm just gonna kinda, you know, put it down in here and we'll take a look and uh, I'll show you the uh, the rust down in there and, um, and then we're going to uh, do the, uh, the trick. You know, I think since so much of the tank is in good shape. I really don't know that I want to to do something really uh, harsh like muriatic acid or or some of those uh, other things. Uh, so I'm going to start with with just some good old all-purpose uh, vinegar. Cost me five bucks from Kroger, and you know if it doesn't uh, if it doesn't get the rust out, then we'll we'll try something more aggressive. So anyway, let me put that uh, put this other camera on here, and I'll show you what the inside of the tank looks like. Okay, so let's uh, just go ahead and put some vinegar in here. Uh, you know, I think one of the things I want to do because there's a little bit of uh, rust on the inside of the um, of this exit tube here, I'm going to go ahead and just stick some of this uh, fuel line on here and kind of tilt that up like that, and then I'll probably put a little bit of vinegar in there. Um, you know, it, it probably won't be able to stay in there. Uh, submerged, but it'll just give it some contact and maybe make us feel a little bit better about it. So, um, let's start with this one. There's already some missing. So, we'll just do this. And I'm lucky in that this tank does not have, um, there's no holes at the bottom that I have to plug up. So, that's a, uh, that's going to be great for this test and uh, happy about that. But you can see too. This is the uh, this is how the, the tank naturally sits, and this side down here is where all of the rust is. So fortunately for us, that's also where the, the vinegar is going to sit. So funnel does not fit down in there, so I'm just going to try to not spill much. See if that works. You know, if I could reach down in there in the bottom of this thing to plug up the, the bottom, I think that would be the thing to do. But since I can't reach in there, I think I'm just gonna be stuck with, um, you know, hopefully just letting a little level, I don't know if you can see that right there, hopefully letting that, you know, little um, bit of vinegar just kind of soak for as long as we can. So, uh, we'll meet here again in 24 hours and see what the tank looks like.
And this is just uh, typical white vinegar. You can see the acidity strength on this one is 5%. And I just noticed this one is 6%. So it's a little bit of a mixture of both of those was, is what was used. Okay, so it's been 24 hours and we've had a chance to let that vinegar sit in there. Now we're going to take another look with the camera down in the cap and see what's going on. Okay, and what I've got here is a Scotch-Brite pad attached to some 550 paracord and also a uh, just a piece of plywood, that just some, something from the scrap bin. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to try to put this in the bottom of the tank and just try to kind of scour some of that surface in there and get some of that additional rust off. Um, I think that's going to be the, um, that'll, that'll do it for us, then we'll, we'll rinse it out with water and uh, put some baking soda in there and go from there. That was too cool. Okay, so uh, now we just pull we use our paracord to pull our scotch Bright pad back out of the tank. And now we will uh, fill this with water a few times, rinse it out, fill this with water. And then at that point, we'll, um, you know, once we get it rinsed out with water, we'll put some more baking soda in there and we'll um, rinse it out again. So that's feeling pretty clean in there. We've, we've cleaned that out. We ran water in here. I'm just gonna put about 17 tablespoons of baking powder in there. Baking powder, baking soda. Baking soda in there. And just kind of shake that around a little bit, rinse it out again. This is just kind of, uh, this is gonna neutralize any kind of acid that may be left over from the vinegar. And then we'll just kind of be dealing with just a base, you know, liquid in there with, with water. So uh, maybe one more there. Yeah, there we go. Now we'll mix that around and uh, uh, rinse it out a little bit and we'll come back. Okay, so the next step you're, you're gonna wanna do after you've got it uh, totally rinsed out, we need to dry this thing so it doesn't flash rust. Just get a hair dryer and we're gonna do this right here. For a long time. Okay, so about 30 minutes later, we have the hair dryer uh, running full full blast, you know, to this thing. Uh, all the water's out of here, and you can see from the pictures that it's pretty uh, pretty clean in there. So, the next step that we're going to do is we're going to put some of this Marvel Mystery Oil in there. I'm not ready to fill it with gas just yet. I need I still need to install it, and there's some other stuff I need to do. So I'm not I'm not ready to use the tank, but I don't want it to rust. So I'm going to put some of this Marvel Mystery Oil. This is the same stuff, just in a smaller bottle that I'm going to kind of stick in the inlet tube there. Um, but you know, and you can get this stuff at, at you know, um, Walmart or your local magic shop or anywhere really. Yeah, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. 
I uh, hope, uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing. There's a lot of good stuff on the channel related to all kinds of home, auto, boat, RV, maintenance, repair, anything to try to save a few bucks.